Okay, so let's let's start this off real quick because I feel like there's 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 quite a bit of uh, misinformation going around regarding the the whole video uh, titled you know a depressing video by Alpha Investments, aka Rudy. There's been a lot of uh, I guess miscommunication up until yesterday night, uh, but I, I keep seeing people running away in other video comments, uh, thinking that the reason that Rudy uh, took down that post is because of MetaZoo, when it in fact was flesh and blood Legend Story Studios that actually forced, almost basically forced Rudy to bring that down. So Rudy has already replied in his Patreon to his Patreon members uh, regarding exactly what happened. Uh, Legend Story Studios was apparently severely pissed off at the fact that Rudy dared talk about the market in the United States regarding how Flesh and Blood is doing, how you can get boxes at wholesale for like, you can you can get boxes for like 40, 45 bucks, and that essentially the product is not doing as as well as it should be that map pricing is not being met and the fact that a lot of stores are pointing to rudy for the for him being the reason why uh they, they basically they kicked him out so so lss essentially forced rudy to no longer almost to no longer uh be able to offer patrons a deal for flesh and blood uh after this video went live and after it got taken down and after the the actual uh the reasoning behind why he took it down i do not expect rudy to have any more flesh and blood promos uh who knows they might they might continue working with him but as of right now that's that's yet to be seen so apparently again flesh and blood is the reason why rudy took down that video no it's not because of metazoo in fact uh argos reached out to his metazoo contacts who showed him proof that they were able to reach out to Rudy, uh, like I guess a week or so ago or a couple weeks ago, something like that. But very recently, they, they managed to get a hold of Rudy very recently, and where they explained to him their their their, their changes, what's going to be happening with his with his promo cards, etc. So my honest belief is that that video was scheduled to release. Uh, it may have been created several days before it went live, and obviously now he has new information. Uh, regarding the future of MetaZoo. So who, we might get an actual update video regarding that. So without further ado, let me let me stop talking here and show you guys the actual post. Okay. It's going to go boop. Okay. Well, hold on. Is this it? Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. So after receiving a thousand plus private patron messages, here is a response. Due to the misinformation and bizarre response videos popping up all over the place, aka Umu. <laughs> uh, I feel the response like this is needed to ensure speculation doesn't run wild. So in yesterday's video titled A Depressing Video, I go through Magic Fab Metazoo and the continued weakness in these markets. I criticized management of all companies and the slow reaction to a post-COVID world when I feel fast adjustments needed to be made. In the middle of the video, I transition from bashing Hasbro's management and layoffs uh, to discussing my frustration and concern that all flesh and blood sealed boxes are selling below map, minimum uh, ma manufacturer's advertised pricing, minimum levels on the open market, eBay and TCG player, and even with the price, uh, what is it? With the price declines, the actual sales volume is scary low. This is not good at all. So, this is the reason that uh, they were not happy. So, his theory, uh, and let me let me go back here real quick. So since since Monarch first edition and the large ramp up of print runs, the secondary market continues to struggle to hold on in the USA. Uh, my theory is that LS, LSS has stronger data in other regions of the world that do not reflect the same data I see in the USA. This creates a mismatched perspective. My next theory is LSS has. Oh, sorry. My next theory revolves around Rudy and the average person's negative view on me and my impact on CCGs. So, Rudy. And all of us here in the United States can obviously see flesh and blood is not performing as well as it used to. Boxes are, I, bro, I hate to say it, boxes are MetaZoo level lows. They're at forty dollars a box, post post twenty twenty boxes. So, like, what is Fab dead now too? Because they have forty dollar boxes like MetaZoo does. No, they, it's not right. And so, we're seeing the USA market. The USA market's not too hot. But LSS has seen all the other markets and how strong their other markets have been. So you have one side saying, yo, you're spewing lies or you're spewing misinformation, which is LSS. And Rudy's like, no, bro, look at these 
like this is what we have in our market like this is what's going on here in the u.s so it's it's a lot of that going on um i know for a fact lss has to be doing well because they they i think they just bought out some big old facility for offices recently in australia or something like that um so they're doing well. Financially, it looks like the company is growing. They're doing well. They still have competitive events, etc. But in the United States, the boxes are not doing well, which is what Rudy was, was, was talking about. And it is for that reason alone. Besides, and, and he goes into, and I know this is a really long letter, um, but essentially it's because of the fact that he spoke up about the pricing here in the USA. Uh, and he spoke up about how, you know, he has many people reaching out to him, trying to sell him cases and cases of these things. For below the market and he's not purchasing and, and people are getting even more worried about flesh and blood that lss essentially is pissed off pissed off beyond reproach in fact let's scroll down to the actual thing the actual spice here let me let me get you back on there you know let's let's do this it's probably easier if i just do this right here Ta-da! okay so here we go here we go. so moving forward so essentially they agreed that going forward that he would be selling flesh and blood boxes on release and on release only for map pricing uh so he couldn't give patrons a discount which if you're paying a 15 dollar a month membership on top of having to pay regular map pricing on boxes it really isn't a good deal uh i mean yes you you may get promos and that may make up for it but for the vast majority of people they, they'll see that as a scam which then makes Rudy look bad so it's it, it's hard from each side right so when we go down here so he chose i chose to delete the video from youtube as the anger from LSS was far more severe than ever imagined. I have not heard back from LSS at this point in time, and I don't know if they are going to want to work with me moving forward due to my negativity on the overall market, including Fab. So, that... So, so one, I know that the moment that, that video got deleted, people were like, hey, it's MetaZoo's fault, and I'm like... I don't know. I don't think it's Meta's. I feel like I think I heard. I think uh, Mike is on a cruise for for vacation. Andy's on vacation as well with his family. Like, I I, I don't see that happening. And like, I, I'll be honest. With you, <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. Meta's guys had so many like 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 hits over the last couple months that I really don't think a Rudy video would put them over the edge. Like, I mean, you're talking about TCG player just literally pulled a channel fireball and obliterated the the hello kitty uh the hello kitty market booster boxes or whatever the the Karoma cryptic carnival boxes like just straight up obliterated the the negativity just from that alone i feel like totally outweighs this one little video that rudy put out so i i from the get-go didn't think it was related to metazoo uh if anything i thought that at most if it was related to metazoo at most it may have been the fact that you know, uh, Argos did say, oh, yeah, they reached out to him. They were able to get a hold of him. And maybe I thought, oh, maybe he's going to, he's, he's, he took it down because it's no longer correct information that they haven't reached out to him, that he doesn't know what's going on with Metazoo's future. And so maybe he was going to correct, correct that in a different video or, you know, something like that. But I did not have this on my 2023 bingo card. Uh, I didn't realize how sensitive uh, Legend Story Studios is. Uh, I had heard of some other incidents that occurred with, uh, what it, what it was what's it called the uh, roundtable TCG? I had heard rumors about what happened with 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 that situation there, and it seems like it just happened with Rudy as well. Um, so what does that mean? Uh, I, I suspect if they're really that pissed off, they probably will cut business communication with Rudy, and that's it. Uh, I assume no more promo cards for Rudy going forward. I don't even know what that means for his gem keeper cards that he has like in production or that he was going to be producing with them. Um, and what that means if those gem keeper cards will now all of a sudden be even more wanted. So yeah, that's, that's the, the big hubbub about the alpha investments, uh, deleted video that caused actual shockwaves and midnight chatter across multiple discords. Uh, but, uh, there you go. Um, it's not Meta's fault. It's Legend Story Studios' fault, and it kind of sucks that you can't criticize a company or, or you know, because I get it, man. Like I'm sure they're seeing positivity across, uh, you know, across the pond and in other territories, and just not in the in the U.S. And for all we know, we don't know how the other markets truly are, right? But uh, you can't censor somebody. You know, this this to me is is very much censorship, and uh, you can. You know, you can go after me in the comments thinking, saying like, oh, no, it's not censorship. I, I call this censorship. 
the fact that Rudy had to go as far as deleted a vi- deleting a video uh, where he goes on a rant regarding the markets of various TCGs and LSS being so pissed off that he is essentially forced to take it down or face even further consequences with him. To me, that is censorship. I don't, I don't, I don't vibe with that. Um, it's it's very reminiscent of like 2022 MetaZoo man when, or like 20 yeah 2022 when they were just banning people left and right, where you couldn't even say a comment, uh, even even a, a small negative comment in their Discord without you getting banned from their Discord. Um, and I think they learned. I think they learned from that whole fiasco that happened in 2022, uh, and how everything just kind of collapsed around them and the negativity and the vitriol just kept growing and growing and honestly if lss is going to go down that same route i expect them to have a rude awakening like metazoo did uh you you just can't like people have opinions people see it as they see it it's not misinformation if there's actual data to support it in the background uh, again this is strictly from the u.s market so take it for take it for what you will but um yeah, MetaZoo didn't do well censoring people and banning people and, you know, getting upset with people for having different opinions. And it's not going to work well for LSS. So we'll see what, what happens here. But uh, Flesh and Blood is... <laughs> I guess Flesh and Blood is in the toilet right now because I, I didn't... I honestly have not been following their market in so long. I thought, you know, I keep seeing competitive events happening and all this stuff and they kept releasing product. I didn't realize how bad it had gone on the Flesh and Blood side of things. Um, so it is what it is, but Hey, onwards to 2024, you know, happy new years to you guys. Uh, I don't know if I'll be making any other video before, uh, you know, before the, the new year begins. So happy early new years when you guys will see this video here today in like a couple hours. But, uh, yeah, man, I hope you guys had a, have a wonderful time with your families. I hope you guys are ready for 2024, uh, another year, hopefully of prosperity and growth for your, you and yours. And of course, prosperity and growth for the the products that we love and MetaZoo, you know, even Flesh and Blood. Even though I, I wish Flesh and Blood well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to be like you deserve to go down because mistakes happen, and hopefully they can correct this type of mistake going forward. Um, I don't think I don't think they should have gone the way they did about it. I, I give I give Rudy props for actually putting this out because speculation was running rampant, and even though this this right here this letter may actually do more harm than good. In fact, this may be the nail right here that, that makes LSS not want to proceed any sort of business discussions with him going forward. Because now he's aired out the dirty laundry. He could have just kept quiet, took the video down, and handled this all behind closed doors, and everybody would be speculating what's going on. And most people were throwing MetaZoo under the bus, thinking it was MetaZoo Mike and, and all this. Um, and that's not that's not fair to that company. So I, I, give, I give Rudy props for coming out and actually writing this entire like paragraph e- explaining everything with it like his thoughts his data and the correspondence he had with legend story studios so we'll see how it's, we'll see what happens man let me know what you guys think uh it's again not metazoo it's legend story studios which i did not expect honestly so we'll see man good luck to rudy and and flesh and blood cat i mean i'm a gem keeper with rudy man like i have or i had a gem keeper rudy i got it graded sold it bought more graded sold it like i want to buy his gem keeper card again especially after this like dude his promos are probably going to go through the roof now so but we'll see we'll see what happens with promos i'm excited to see that uh because i do like the gem keeper cards and the cold foils and whatnot so (sighs) happy new year's fellas see you later see you in 2024 uh, which crazy to think that how, how much we've gone through together over the last three years. Golly. Anyways, see y'all later. Appreciate y'all.